here's part three of my uh, CD collection. Decided to show more. I haven't shown it, done a part in like two years, so or two years, excuse me, two months. So this is another box. Of, I have a couple more boxes, so we'll go through those. Anyway. I know I might get some hate for owning this, but whatever. This is uh, Billie Eilish's first album, uh, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? I got this at, I think, Target. This is the re-release. I think I have another one. Uh, this has um, Bad Guys, Annie, Wish You Were Gay, Bury a Friend, Goodbye, it has some bonus tracks as well. Everything I wanted, which I think would actually end up on the second album. I like Billie Eilish, you know. She's a good, you know, pop musician. Probably one of the only pop musicians I actually like these days. It's not saying much though. But yeah, it has every lyric. Uh, oh, it does have the booklet. I think it's a little different than the... Is this the one that folds up into a post? Yes, it is. Hold on. I gotta... Fold this. This is a really cool looking poster. Yeah, there's Billy right there. This is kind of an older picture. You can kind of tell because of her silver blue hair. And there's nothing in the back. Yeah, there you go. You can see a little more. Back when she was wearing oversized um, sweaters and whatnot. I like how she evolved as a musician. She's very talented, in my opinion. At least in my opinion. And there's the disc. Yeah, pretty simple. I know there's a Japanese edition which has like more bonus tracks. I think that actually has a Blu-ray of like music videos and stuff. So maybe I'll get that one day, but you know, you never know. Spine Shank. This is uh, what album is this? I need to replace the case on this. This is a uh, self-destructive pattern. Not my favorite spine shank, but it's still good. It's definitely better than their metalcore album. I'll say that. I kind of hope one day spine shank come back. We need them more than ever nowadays. There's the disc. I guess I could show some of the booklet. Just like lyrics. Yeah. <clears throat> I got this from an uh, ex friend who I bought from in a lot. Well, he really wasn't my friend, but. Yeah. You know, it's a whole nother story. This took a hell of a long time to find. NMSO4, you are just a mistake. I paid like a lot for this. I think I paid like maybe 50 bucks for this. Whoop. I used to have another copy, but I gave it to the ex friend who I told you about. Uh, artwork's a little bit wavy, but you know. I wouldn't could call it water damage. Uh, stuff like kind of like that I guess it's a little bit water damaged it's kind of starting to fall apart yeah they're, these guys are a new metal band uh, they're a little more known in the the new metal community these days Kind of like, think of like Cold Chamber almost. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's one of my rarer CDs. There's the disc. There's a picture in the back. Uh, what's a good song? Inside, Waste, Mistake, Everything. Stitches is pretty good. This is from 2001, I believe, yeah. They have a couple other stuff, but I don't have those. <laughs> but yeah, if you could get a hold of this, I highly recommend it. There's also they also had another release under the name Crooked, but I don't have that. This took a long, long time to find. Another new metal band. I posted this on this album on another channel. It is uh, the Abuse Transmutate, new metal band from San Diego, California. Great, great CD. Sadly, the singer passed away a year after the CD came out. Paula, yeah. Great album. Control Freaks, great. Tapping the Vein. Uh, Friction, Truth, that's a great opener. I got it from a dude in San Francisco. I mean, San Diego. Here, there's the disc. I like to get my other. I have some of their other stuff digitally. I would like to get it physically one day. I think that was uh, those were MP3.com exclusives. You got lyrics. Yeah, Paulette. That's when it passed away. You can find this whole album on YouTube. So if you're interested, uh, check it out. That CD is very hard to find as well. Even more hard to find than the NMSL4. Disturbed the Sickness. Disturbed's first album. Alt Metal Classic right here. Stupefy the Game. Shout 2000. Uh, of course, Down with the Sickness. You know, everyone knows that one. Uh, meaning of Life. Yeah. Great band. I don't have every single Disturbed CD. I've got a couple. There's the disc. I, g I gave a copy to my friend for his birthday. That I found at a Goodwill. That, one, that one's actually more in better condition than this one, but yeah. Here's a picture. There's David Draymond. My friend Emily, actually, really is her favorite band is Disturbed. And she loves this band. I believe they're from Chicago. My, my cousin saw them live years ago. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Call me kind of lame for owning this, but I actually kind of like it. It is the brown jewel case edition with the Ernie in the back. But this is the Green Day al Green Day's album that made them, you know, superstars overnight. And it's not bad. I only own it for nostalgia purposes, really. This whole album's great. Basket Case, Chump, Having a Blast, When I Come Around, Enemies, Sleepus, In the End, FOD. Yeah. There's the disc, and there's pictures of the band being silly. Uh, like pictures, lyrics. It 
it's like pop rock, you know, slash alt rock. It's not bad, but everyone's heard it. You probably heard at least some of this on the radio, I assume. Drowning Pool, Sinner. Drowning Pool's Pool's first album and only album with their with Dave on vocals before he passed away the following year. Sinner, everyone knows the song Bodies, Let the Bodies Hit the Floor. Yeah, that's that, the, this band. I don't have the 13, Unlucky 13 edition. I'd like to get that one edition because it's got like bonus tracks from like their first album. Which, I, this isn't their, no, it's not their first album, I should say. It's their first major label album. But it's their second okay this is their second album they had an album called drowning pool 99 before this but that was ve that's very hard to find so i guess this is dave's second album that's dave right there in the middle rest in peace but yeah they're really good i i, li I listened to this album the full album like not that long ago and it's actually really good uh, All Over Me is really good. Pity. Some of it's a little slow, you know, like I Told You So. Like, some of those are, will have like slower songs on them. And I like their, some of their later stuff. Oh yeah, I showed the disc. There's nothing in the back. Yeah, check out Drowning Pool. Really good. Another copy of Dookie. Why do I have two? Oh, probably because this has the Ernie on it. I should really uh, give that one away. They're pretty easy to find. Cold Chamber, Chamber Music. I, I go back and forth between this and Dark Days of being my favorite Cold Chamber album. But at the moment, what are you doing? This is probably my favorite right now. Just such a legendary new metal band. Tragedy, Tyler's Song, What's in Your Mind. Shock the Monkey, which has uh, Ozzy Osbourne on guest vocals. Because Sharon was uh, this band's manager for a little bit. My Mercy, uh, Sherry Vegas. Man, they were. I cannot praise this band enough, seriously. People, there's people. Unlike when I posted on my uh, other YouTube channel, like a live set from 97, people are like, oh, no, 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 no. these guys are a uh, corn ripoff. Uh. Do some research. They started, like, the same year. No ripoffs, really. Yeah, I did delete comments from that video got pretty bad but anyway thanks list you got lyrics there's Meigs there's Reyna wait Reyna? yeah Reyna yeah There's but one of my idols, Dez. I heard Cold Chamber actually coming out with a new album. Looking forward to that. There's Mikey. I wish Cold Chamber would come back, but you know, maybe one day. Is there anything in the back? Oh yeah. That guy. I know my friend John, aka uh, Detox Tube, does not particularly like this Deftones album, but I like it. It's not 
their best album by far, but it's still good. They had, at the time, they had sort of like post-hardcore elements in their music, but it's not bad. Seven Words, Engine Number 9, Root, Board, I mean, come on. I think this is actually a European pressing. Yeah. I got this at a FYE a while back. But I think Deftones have definitely evolved much more after this album. There's some pictures of the band. My, fr my friend Hannah really likes these guys too. I remember we were... I think we had a discussion about them once. I think she even saw them live once. And no, I haven't heard their new album. I'd like to. This is a live album, Foo Fighters, Skin and Bones, uh, from 2007? Oh no, 2006. It has like all their hits, you know, live versions. Times Like These, Big Me, My Hero, Best of You. Oh wow, here's an advertisement for Skin and Bones Live DVD. I think I have that DVD actually, including five songs not on the CD you're holding, so if you want to listen to something in the car, this is something, but if you want to hear the full album, or live video, buy the DVD, which I think I do. I think there's another live DVD I own too, I have somewhere. Yeah, everywhere but home. I think I have that somewhere. <sighs> um, Marilyn Manson, Lunchbox single from 1995. Released during the Portrait Era. Uh, this has Lunchbox, Next Mother Effer, uh, Down in the Park, which is actually a Gary Newman cover. Another remix of Lunchbox, Metal. So it basically has mostly remixes of the Lunchbox song plus Down in the Park. There's the disc right there. Probably have to cover this. I don't know what anyone just know, but there's Manson right there posing. Because, you know, you never know with people out there. Hold on, let me get the... Okay, that was extremely weird. I don't know why my camera did that. It's weird. Anyway, next album we have is uh, Oasis with the Master Plan. Uh, this is a compilation of B-Sides featuring Oasis. Uh, most of this was bootlegged before. This came out in 98. Uh, I like the song Listen Up, which Liam Gallagher actually has played live recently. Uh, Rocket Chair, Half the World Away, Head Shrinker, Equiesque, Underneath the Sky, that's a great track. There's the disc. Which pictures from a rehearsal, it looks like. The whole story on the whole comp. So 
says when they were when each track was recorded. I like Oasis, one of my f favorite bands of all time. Check them out. Well, I was talking about corn earlier. <laughs> I have this Greatest Hits Volume 1. I don't believe there was ever a Volume 2. Correct me if I'm wrong. This has a bunch of singles songs from their singles but it does have two exclusive tracks on here well actually really three I think it's the deluxe edition but it's got word up and another brick in the wall which is a Pink Floyd cover and the Dante Ross mix of Freak on a Leash but it also has a DVD live at CBGB in New York 2003 which was actually a free show that's a great set right there. That was one of the last shows they played with Head before he left. I believe. And there's the CBGB DVD. Yeah, there's the there's Head right there. That's what they looked like then. I miss David. Got lyrics. No. Song information. I heard they're working on a new one, so looking forward to that. The Vandals. Peace Through Vandalism also includes their first album when in Rome as do, do as the Vandals uh, a punk band I like you know this has their first DP and their first album in one CD this came out in 89 I think yeah the original EP came out in like 82 and the album came out in like 84 got this from my friend's record shop can I get the booklet out? it also came with a vandal stick well my friend added that when I bought this album it's like credits and whatnot mail order stuff What else we got? This is an HMV sampler from 95, which has songs by, let's see, Chemical Brothers, PJ Harvey, Garbage, Suede, Cheryl Crow, The Boo Radleys, and Oasis with Champagne Supernova. I think it has a pretty early version of Champ. Maybe this came out in 96, because I don't think that album came out till like late 95. I got this for a buck. But if it, ha it does. This might have an early version of Champagne Supernova. I'm not sure. Pretty sure it's the same one on the album, though. Okay, never mind. This came out after. But yeah, this is an English, a British uh, CD. David Allen Coe and Pantera. What do you get when you get David Allen Coe, Pantera, and they make an album? Minus Phil. You get Cal um, Rebel Meets Rebel. This is very interesting. It's like David Allen Coe singing metal songs. With, uh, with, you know, vocals from, like, Vinny and bass from Rex. 
they actually recorded this, um, I think, like, during the Rev, uh, what was that album? So, like, 99, 2000, what would that have been? Reinventing the Steel Era? It's not an easy CD to find, either. But yeah. It's definitely interesting if you're a Pantera fan, which by the way, before you ask, um, what do I think of the Pantera reunion, um, it's interesting, you know, it's not, it's definitely not going to be the same without Vinny or Dime, that's for sure, but I'm looking forward to it, I'm kind of interested to see what they want or what they're going to do with it, got lyrics, There's a picture of Dime, I think their manager. Jeff Thompson, yeah. Maybe, no, maybe they're to I don't know if there's their manager, but yeah. Maybe their bodyguard. And there's uh, David Allen Coe. One of my favorite country musicians. If you can find this, get a hold of it. I consider it like kind of like a lost Pantera album. Subhumans, what is this? EPLP. It has four EPs on one CD. A punk band from England. This has the Demolition War EP, the Reason for Existence EP, which is probably my favorite. The Religious Wars EP and the Evolution EP great songs like Germ, Society, Reason for Existence, I think Leftover Crack did a cover of that, A Religious Wars of course, on Blair Records. Oh wow, I think I bought this from my friend's store too because it has a subhuman sticker on there. There's the disc. Of course you got lyrics for every song. I have a shirt with that design actually. Yeah, subhumans are great. Very in your face, very don't give a, a damn attitude. I like that. Very non PC at all. Franken Christ. Uh, this is the Dead Kennedys. This is the original CD from the 80s. Great album. Kind of hard to find. Yeah, Alternative Tentacles. Got this at my friend's record store. I think I paid like 15 bucks for it. I also bought it on cassette for 50 cents. From a friend. This actually has the band artwork in it that had a poster. So I'm not going to show that. Because it's... Literally a bunch of wieners and butts. So I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube with that. And there's lyrics, but they're very small. What's a good song? MTV Get Off the Air. Soup is Good Food. You know. I, it's not my favorite Dead Candies album, but it's up there. The Vectors, Behind the Orange Curtain, 20 Years of Hits and Giggles. I think there's an Orange County punk band. I got it for like a buck. It's got a bunch of songs. They're alright.
like they're kind of in the middle, like a little being known, but not too well known. If that makes sense. Oh, this is a great comp. Plea for Peace, action, take action. This has songs by, let's see, Alkaline Trio, Thrice, AFI, Lawrence Arms, Thursday at the Drive-In. Yeah, I bought it for the Mike Park stuff. I think it has a, an exclusive track by Mike Park. Can you get me out of here, I think, yeah. It's got a bunch of other stuff, too. It was cheap, so, you know. The Lawrence Arms, Arms track's really good, too. Thursday. Dillinger Escape Plan. TSOL. The Ataris. Let's, yeah. The National Hope Line Network. Oh! That's interesting. That's a nice kind of cause, you know. You, you could probably get that CD for like cheap. Speaking of dead candies, Bedtime for Democracy. My least favorite dead candy CD, but still pretty good. Uh, Take This Job and Shove It's pretty good. Uh, Chicken Shit Conformist. Rambozo the Clown. That's a great one. Rambozo. Rambozo the Clown. Also on Alternative Tentacles. This is the original CD. Yeah, I think it actually, yeah. Like, folds into a big poster like the LP did. It's got lyrics on pretty thin paper, too. Yeah, check out Dead Candies. Great stuff. They're still around, but the original singer, Jello, isn't with them anymore. What is this? Oh, Oasis. Collector's Edition 4 track EP. The Stop the Clock EP, which has Equiesque and the Master Plan, but it also includes two demos. Or two exclusive tracks. Uh, Cigarettes and Alcohol, the demo version, and some might say... Oh wait, did I talk about the NSMA4 CD? Hold on, I'll talk about that after this. If you order pre I think if you pre-ordered the Stop the Clocks album, you got this for free. There's the sticker. I think I got it for free too for my friend. There's the disc. Stop the clocks. But yeah, that's a great EP. Anyway. NMSO4, this is their demo CD from 2000. I got this for 15 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Has three tracks. I upload I also uploaded this online. Pretty hard to CD to find. Great demo. Even rawer somehow than their first album. I know they kind of look like Juggalos, but I assure you they are not part of the Juggalo family. They may look it, but they're not. Yeah, great album. Or great demo, I should say. If you could get a hold of that for cheap. I highly recommend it.